If you or a loved one are struggling with type 2 diabetes, you should visit the link in the description below. This clinically proven drug-free program lowers blood sugar to a normal level and can completely reverse type 2 diabetes within just a few weeks. Here's today's video. The question, what causes diabetes? Do we have a cure of diabetes? Answer by Wayne Bodelick. It'll answer part two of your query first. No, there is no cure for any form of diabetes mellitus at this time. There are treatments. There are three primary forms of diabetes. They'll address each. There are sub-varieties of all of them. 1. Autoimmune diabetes, aka T1, type 1, and formerly known as juvenile. It was called juvenile because it's the most common chronic childhood disease, not because it only happens to children. It can happen at any age, and does, but is more often found in children. There is a subtype of this disease called LADA, latent autoimmune diabetes of adults. This version develops more slowly than traditional T1, and usually appears after the age of about 25. The name itself is a leftover from the days when diabetes was identified by age at diagnosis. These diseases are genetic, and there are several identified genetic markers for them, mostly in the HLA, human leukocyte antigen, complex, about 200 different genes located on chromosome 6 of the human genome, but also some located elsewhere. Besides needing the right, wrong, genes to get the dice, ACE, and environmental triggers needed at a susceptible time. Several infectious agents are suspect there, the most common of those is the enterovirus family of viruses, most of which are quite minor, creating symptoms of no more than a mild sniffle for a day or two. Another known trigger is the mums. The role of the trigger is to set off the immune system to respond to the infection, and then the system goes rogue and attacks the insulin-producing endocrine beta cells of the pancreas, a tiny portion of the organ, about 2% of it. With the loss of insulin, type 1 diabetes is endowed, and the patient must inject insulin daily for the rest of his slash her life to survive. Currently the standard insulin regimen is a basal insulin, typically injected once daily, using a basal long-acting insulin that lasts a full day, plus a bolus, mealtime slash corrections, fast-acting insulin injected at meals, to cover the carbs in the meal, which become glucose in the digestive system in a matter of minutes, then secrete it into the bloodstreams. The underlying reason for the immune attack is the genetic error, but what it causes is a rogue T reg cell response. T regs are regulatory T cells, the cells from the immune system that direct the immune response by the helper T cells that kill invaders. D reg cells are supposed to prevent the helper cells from attacking self, but in T1, they fail, miserably, and the endocrine beta cells are destroyed. 2. Insulin resistant diabetes, aka T2, type 2, formerly known as maturity onset diabetes, is also genetic. Again, without the genes, you don't get the disease. But, the genetic issue is not a single bad gene, or even a few identifiable genes, it's a lot of common genetic markers. The issue in T2 is the alignment of the gene S on the chromosome, not simply their presence. So far, 35 different genetic variants have been identified and are being studied to establish linkage. So far, only two have been linked, but this is an arduous process involving complex investigation. Chromosome 2 is involved in several of these variants, but it's not the only one. In this version of the disease, the underlying biochemical failing is that the body cells don't respond efficiently to insulin. As a result, the patient's body overproduces insulin in an effort to overcome that resistance. This works for a time, likely for years prior to diagnosis, but eventually, the pancreatic endocrine beta cells can't keep up with the increasing demand for insulin, and the patient's BG, blood glucose, gets too high. Environmental factors associated with T2 include obesity, overeating, and a sedentary lifestyle. But, recent research has begun to indicate that some of the genetic markers associated with T2 are also associated with easy obesity and fatigue, meaning that the suspected environmental triggers for T2 are actually symptoms of the disease, induced by the same genetic misfortune that causes the disease itself. Genetic variant near IRS1 is associated with type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, and hyperinsulinemia. Nature Genetics, 2009. In the category of cellular resistant diabetes is a group of 13 disease known as MODI, maturity onset diabetes of the young. In these versions of the disease, only one gene is the culprit, a different one for each of the 13 variants. Again, 
the name is a leftover from the olden days when the diseases were associated with age at diagnosis. 3. Pancreatogenic Diabetes, or Type 3 C, Tech. This version of the disease is often thought of as T1, but it's not. No immune system failure is involved. This is a disease wherein a disease of the exocrine pancreas has damaged the endocrine pancreas, and impaired insulin production, it may be a small impairment, or a total one, depending on the causative disease. Among those diseases are cystic fibrosis, pancreatic cancer, and pancreatitis. Treatment for these patients is similar to T1, insulin injections and dietary management. The subtypes of this form of diabetes mellitus are simply the causative diseases, like TEC, CF for pancreatogenic diabetes caused by cystic fibrosis. A lot of this is simplified, but it's the gist of the underlying causes of the many types of diabetes mellitus. I hope it's helpful. Answer by Julie Kitty. There is no cure for diabetes per se. Type I slash insulin dependent diabetes slash juvenile onset can be treated by insulin pump therapy or multiple daily injections, but without the insulin yet eventually DIVC or pancreas no longer produces the hormone, the natu, re of the disease is its autoimmune, and your body attack the island of Langerhans, where insulin producing beta cells live. In short they die, every time you eat for the rest of your life. You will need insulin from a bile regardless of how it's delivered. Type 2 diabetes, often called adult onset and often associated with obesity, there is thought to be a genetic component, is when the body overtaxes the pancreas and the insulin it produces. Often insulin resistance leads to this complication. Sometimes PCOS can be a precor, sore, eventually this can lead to reliance on external insulin. Often it is managed with pills that sensitize your body to the insulin your pancreas is still able to make. It is greatly helped with dietary changes, mindful eating, weight loss and increased physical activity. So in short diabetes has not been cured, but it can be managed. It can be difficult with people making exceedingly ignorant comments about your food choices while they eat like pigs and are sedentary as veal. However with the onset of better testing supplies, disposable needles, new types of insulins, insulin pump therapy etc. and with the help of some endocrinologists, diabetes educators, and dietitians, people live with it every day. Many individuals die of old age with diabetes having acquired no related complications. My partner and I, both diabetic over 20 years, agree that while diabetes is no picnic, we benefit every day from the advances those before us didn't get to take advantage of. Answer by Swapnil Ganj Pura. There are two main types of diabetes causes for them are different. A. Genetic factors type 2 DN is partly hereditary. If one of your parents is diabetic then there are more chances that you too can have diabetes. Chances increases even more if both the parents are diabetic. B. Environmental factors It includes everything else other than genetics that can lead to diabetes. Like I, obesity, especially fat around your waist, abdominal obesity, is strongly associated with types 2 DM. 2. Lack of exercise It's an independent risk factor even in absence of obesity. 3. History of diabetes during pregnancy, gestational diabetes. 4. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. But the interplay between these two factors, genetic and environmental, will determine one's chances of getting diabetes. If there is strong family history then even lean patient can get diabetes. And sometimes obese will not have diabetes if genetic factors are absent. But no. There is no cure for diabetes.